Tally ho everybody, this is A Heap of Games, Adam speaking, and I'm going to talk to you about the new series of Banter Wars. Banter Wars for the banter. So this is just a general update of what's going on. I've just fixed the Banter Wars trophy. Got the names of the previous winners on the back there. And we're going to add another one soon. I've done a few things differently with this series, but also some things that I haven't done for a while. Essentially what this series is going to be is a reboot of Banter Wars Series 1. It's going to be very similar in a lot of ways and very different in some other ways. Namely, it's the same in that they're all my own machines, so I'm not accepting submissions for this one. I can't do it now anyway because I'm already so far into editing. I'll tell you where I'm at at the moment. I've edited down the battles, so the battles are all done. I've edited all the animations, for example this one here, these are the competitor boards and it's just rendering now in the background. <laughs> and I'm now gluing a lot of that together, so it shouldn't be too long before that old stuff is done. I'm still yet to finalise the intro, I've made a lot of stuff for the intro, I just need to select the clips to put into that intro bit. The only thing to do after that is the live action stuff. So me, vice president, and we're going to, be doing, going to be doing those bits differently as well. We're looking to closer match how Robot Wars did it. Think of that what you will. But another way that this differs from series one is the format will be different. So in, in series one, Banter Wars, it was three against three, two of those progressed from each, and then you went into a semi-final and final for the heat. This time it's going to be very much like series one of Robot Wars, complete with mandatory first round gauntlet, then followed by a heat specific trial round. So we've got things like sumo, soccer, <sighs> King of the Hill is one of them, I know that. But we've got six different competitions there. There are 36 robots in all. They're flashing up on the screen right now. Ah. Oh, it's still not working properly, okay. I'm using After Effects. That's another thing that's different as well. Back when I did Bant Wars 1 through 3.5, I only used Premiere Pro, which was limited, and you can see that sometimes. This time around, I'm using, as well as Premiere Pro, I'm using Adobe After Effects, which means it looks a lot fancier when it comes to the animation stuff. Hopefully, as you'll see in a minute, but it's currently still rendering this bit. If you want to see how it looks, if you go watch the last Banter Wars episode, which was Banter Wars Obliteration, Donald Trump versus Joe Biden, that'll give you an idea of the sort of animations we're going for this time around. Some of the stuff is a bit different to that, but it looks sleeker. It looks looks more professional than any previous Bant Wars. And from what I've seen so far of what I've done, it is head and shoulders, production-wise, above everything else that's been going on in Bant Wars. I'm now employed to do this sort of stuff, and so I'm learning this stuff a lot quicker even quicker than I, I already was. I, the production in Banter Wars was there. Uh, looking back from series one through to series three, there is quite a, a difference in production standard, but I think I'm at the le next level now. And I think this will be the best series of Banter Wars yet. For a number of reasons. Yes, it's going to be essentially the, the same robots as series one, and there are no submission robots but that allows me to be fully in character i don't have to be tiptoeing things and it's all me and the vice president but i think that allows more creativity on my part and more entertainment potential it also means that the people who watch the show are watching it for Banter Wars and not just for their robot, so I think, I think I'll have a more genuine audience. Ah, here we go. 
So not sure how well you can see it there, but much smoother animations than in previous Bantz Wars series. I'm just look at the screen there now. Yeah. Very happy with that. So yeah, a lot more creativity. I'm really proud of the robots that I've created. Some of them are a bit more ordinary. And then you get, <laughs> you get ones like that. We all know the Penetrator. Probably the, the first robot I made in Robot Arena 2, at least on uh, regarding YouTube. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. And progress is going really fast. Give it a few days and all I'll have to do left is the stuff with Vice President. The only problem is... That's partially dependent on lockdown. I'm hoping lockdown ends on March the 8th, and then pretty shortly after that, me and the Vice President can sit down and have a chit chat and get the cameras out. And then, hopefully within a couple of months, more realistically three, this will be on your screens. Now, don't stick to that because lockdowns, COVID, that will affect the production of this series. So if anything untowards happens regarding that, then there may be delays. But within two or three months, you should be seeing Bant Wars again on your screen. Bigger, better, and badder than ever before. And I hope you're ready for it. Because you'll need to be. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. To our toodle-pip-toodle-loo. Cheerio. Sort off a lot of you. Bye.